So this is the roof of the cabin and it's got some voids and some bad spots where I think somebody actually laid some extra glass over the roof at one point, which was a good idea. But like everything on this boat, whoever did it did a terrible job. So it's a nice foundation for a repair and maybe another layer or two of glass. I'm using fairing compound here to fill in the really big voids and, I don't know, holes. And now I'm doing a lot of hand sanding around these nubs that are really, um, were originally for a handrail. As you'd walk along the side of the boat, you could hold on to that on the cabin roof. And I can use the sander on the rest of the roof. And I'm gonna give it a really thorough sanding. I don't even know what, if that was gel coat or paint on here, but I'm going to sand through most of it and lay some more fiberglass on after I've smoothed it out with some fairing compound. So you can kind of see it goes from a white everywhere to sort of this funny texture where there's bare glass showing through in between patches of whatever the white is that's left. Oh yeah, and this thing here is where the mast came through the cabin roof and After I've cleaned around it, then I'm going to put some spray foam around it and then grind that back with the angle grinder to make a shape that is easier to lay fiberglass over. And after the extensive sanding, I brush off all the powder. And here I've put spray foam around that mass thing and I'm using the angle grinder to carve it into a shape that's easier to lay fiberglass over. So I've got some fairing compound and I'm looking for some big valleys like where a piece of glass cloth ended and there's a big gap there and yeah there's another big spot here and all of the fairing compound isn't going to go exactly in those two places but if I left it piled up on the trowel it would harden a lot quicker by spreading it out like that I increase its working life and then I go back and you know smear it around it covers a bigger area than those two spots but spreading it out made it hard and slower and there's several layers of fairing compound with sanding in between the layers and this just makes the surface smoother and smoother until it's smooth enough to lay some glass over and get something resembling a continuous shape. One layer of fairing compound will usually have like some gaps or voids or where something got pulled through it and left like a streak of a, a valley. So you have to do several layers of it. 
This is sparing compound over that mass thing. And now I'm sand it into a smoother shape. And as always, everything gets brushed off and then cleaned with acetone. And now I can lay some fiberglass over this spot. It's a complex curve. So I use chopped strand mat fiberglass. And it conforms to a complex curve better than woven cloth would. And I'm putting a couple layers of chopped strand mat over the entire cabin ceiling all the way down to the edge past where the nubs for the railing were. And here it has fresh fiberglass on it. And now I'm going to do something about the nubs. I start out painting with resin to get them wet and then put little pieces of chopped strand mat down and then wet it out with a brush of resin. A lot of this, these little pieces that I'm using here are the edges that I tore off when I wanted to feather the edges of stuff that came off of the roll. I always want a torn edge, not the sharp edge from the edge of the roll, because the feathered edge you don't see, the sharp edge makes, well, makes those valleys that I was trying to fill in. So another layer of fiberglass. And I think Rich is telling me that it's going to rain tomorrow, so try to finish up. So I rolled some gel coat on, and this looks pretty good compared to what it was.